Welcome to Santa Rosa Surplus. We're going to do a short video on doing a 5.45 by 39 rebuild. This is a 545 by 39 upper that I received a while back. It actually has less recoil than a 223 if you can imagine it. And occasionally it's fun to shoot. However, I don't really like the way it's set up with the A2 upper and the gas block. I want to take the A2 upper off and use it for a 9mm build. So, the first thing we have to do is take the taper pins out so that we can start disassembly. However, I do not have a good taper pin punch. I can start the pins with one of these. At least, this pin. This pin is a little more difficult. So, we're going to go over to lathe and we're going to make a hardened pin punch. This is a piece of quarter-inch drill rod, okay? So this is steel that's hardenable. You can make drill bits, reamers, whatever you want out of it. We're going to go ahead and chuck this up, and we're going to turn it down to a fairly small diameter. The problem with turning down to a small diameter is that you tend to bend the piece when you put side-cutting forces on it. So we're going to have to put a center <clears throat> on it. So. So we start by center drilling. Now we'll bring it out and put a live center in the tailstock. How far does our stick out need to be? And that is a very good question. The actual taper itself that we need is pretty short. A rough measure says we need about three quarters of an inch. We also need to clear the handguard retainer. However, the punch can be thicker at this point. Of course, we don't need the full three quarters of an inch because the taper pins will start getting loose when they get a little deeper. So we're going to come back, we're going to measure just over three quarters of an inch. And that's because we have a center hole here that we're going to have to grind off at the end. That should give us pretty much the right amount of space. Notice I'm using a cutter that provides a curved radius for the cut. That'll keep us from cracking when we use the uh, punch at the end. My final dimension is going to be 0.119, so now we're just going to take off material. That's about it for the turning. Now we just got to put it on a torch and then put it in some oil.
And now we have a taper pin punch. Normally I would use an oven and do a full uh, heat treatment schedule on a knife blade, but this is something that's much easier to do with just simple shop tools. So I used a map gas torch, like propane, but it's map gas, use the yellow bottle. I heated from here towards the end, got everything non-magnetic, glowing a certain color, non-magnetic. Um, with experience, you don't need the magnet anymore, you know the colors. You have to turn the lights off to see the colors. And then I quenched it in hot oil. So the oil was preheated to about 250 degrees. <clears throat> and then I tempered it by just drawing some color out with the torch. You have to be really careful. There's a really small piece of metal. It will temper out really fast. And, and now... Pretty much that. Nothing to it. <laughs> and we're just about done. As you can see, we have a pretty decent build here. I went ahead and uh, populated an Anderson lower that I had laying around spare, and this and this are temporary until I find matching olive drab green Magpul furniture, whenever I do. I, and the answer is that I'm going to put a red dot on this or a magnified optic at some point. I want to have the option anyway. We put an A3 carry handle rear sight on this, so you may ask why did I bother to take the A2 upper off and the answer is because I would like to do a red dot or a magnified optic at some point. Also because I think the resale value long term of the upper is stronger if I have a flat top upper receiver with this barrel. So not much to this video, I didn't show you a whole bunch of assembly or anything. The main part of the video was how to make a hardened and tempered taper pin punch. And it's a pretty easy task, and uh, if you need any help, you know, ask in the comments. It's mostly about heating vertical so things don't bend and sag, and quenching vertical with preheated oil. It's really all there is to it. The uh, drawdown you can do with a torch carefully, but you can also just throw it into a toaster oven at 500 or your broiler or whatever. About 500 for an hour, and you should be fine. That's all I got for you right now. Have a good one.